Hi there, I'm Carmen and welcome back. I'm here at Align Pilates. If you're new to Pilates or a new student of Align Pilates, you've probably been given the exercise called the elephant. Now the elephant is a little trickier because now you're asked to be standing on the reformer, engaging your lower body into the shoulder blocks and while hanging on to the front of the foot bar. So instead of laying down and comfortably having your feet, we're now getting you up into this in semi-inverted position. So two things about the elephant that are key for you to kind of start to think about when you're training the elephant. The first thing is the carriage is tied to this gear um, where the springs come in. The springs are tied in to about right here. That means that when you're in that elephant shape, the middle of where the springs are directly kind of hits up into our center, into the middle here. And we need to be getting into that so that the carriage can move out and in without going too much and moving our spine. So we're quite stable in this more flexed spine and we're going to dial into the shoulder blocks and then onto the bar. So the first thing is, is knowing where that spring ties in to this actual mat. So it's in the front here. And then if you took a look underneath your reformer, it's actually right about here where it's attached. So right about here. Okay. So if you're a little bit not getting into the middle of your stomach muscles and using too much knees and too much of your low back or shoulders or what have you, I might put you a little bit forward so that you, you're not working against things like your tight hamstrings or overusing your low back or being into your shoulders too much. Okay. I also might get you to move a little bit forward or back, but we really want to have a balance on our hands, like they're there for balancing. They're not there to be super grippy nor pushing. Okay. So let's have a look at that in my body. So when you're learning your elephant with safety and control, you're going to get and mount up onto your platform, onto your carriage, two hands on the foot bar, you step to the middle and then you can step back into where there's the depression, where there's no foam and your foot sinks in to the back of the shoulder block. Now I'm a bit on the tinier side and I do have the tendency to lock out on my knees. So we'll go with this for a bit and see if I can find that middle. So holding the carriage in, my arms feel like they're working, but they're not overworking. I'm going to press down through my heels and pull that carriage back in. All right. Sometimes it helps to look down instead of forward. Watch your elbows. You're not over tightening your elbows and your wrists are long. And once you get better at that, you're going to go into the one leg back. You're just going to keep that elephant shape working into that. One leg back. Okay. Now I'm trying my best to stay up in a nice lengthened sort of gradual C curve. It's not the best in my body. So if you don't quite see it really, really round, that's okay. I'm still feeling it in here and I'm working on that. So what I look like may be different than what you look like, but keep that in mind about where the spring is. So it starts here, goes into here, and it's in that middle that I'm really thinking about. That's where I'm getting that energy to bring that carriage in and out. Okay. Pushing down through the heels, arms are for balance. Let's watch it one more time. So I'm going to step up with control, step back into the blocks, feel that my stomach 
is right here. This is where I'm at. I think I am finding it better. Yeah, I'm more happy with this version. So, oh, that feels so good in my upper back. I'm feeling my body, my whole body working the elephant in the long stretch series. If you have any questions about the elephant exercise, just leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. I'll see you in the next video.